Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. In April of 2021, I posted a video describing the results of an experiment in which I attempted to cross what was then known as Porcelia levis milkback and has been demonstrated not to be that species at all, and what is known as Porcelio CF levis orange. So we think it is levis, it seems to be levis as far as we know at this point. I was not able to come up with any evidence that the two could cross. They lived together for about seven months and did not cross at all, from what I could tell, and that makes sense considering what we know now. However, I kept them together and I decided to add some Porcelia Levis uh, California mix. And now, since April of 2021, so almost three years ago, is when I put them together and I want to show you what the results were. So, as you can probably see, what I've done here is separate each of the types of isopod found in the bin by appearance, and we'll take a closer look at each one. Please note that I was not able to remove all isopods from the bin, but I removed a good number of each one of them. I would say probably at least 90% of the isopods from the bin so that we can take a look at what's going on. These were the two visual types or phenotypes that I found in the bin um, by far. The oranges were most common. These may all be Porcelio CF Levis. Some of them may be California mix, however, because California mix does throw orange specimens, so it's difficult to tell, and I wouldn't be able to distinguish these for sure. And so I'm going to put these all back in the same bin because I can't, with confidence, uh, declare these to be all Porcelio CF Levis orange or Porcelio Levis California mix. Just can't separate them. But as you see, they are the by far the most common isopod that I discovered in the bin. The next most common were the wild types. There's some variation in these shades. Some of them are a little bit more brownish or caramely than others. Some are closer to a dark gray, but they're all basically wild type visually, which is something that's very common in a Porcelia Levis California mix. And the next two most common were these. And this is probably the third most common of all. And these look a little bit like milkbacks visually. They're not milkbacks. This is another phenotype that the um, Porcelio Levis California mix throws. Kind of a peachy or orangey color, but with uh, generally a variability in pattern and a lighter patch in the middle. And there's some variation in shade. You see some of them are much darker, some of them are much lighter, but they all have essentially that in common. I did ask a non-color deficient person to assist me with this because I had some difficulty making sure they were all uh, representative. I feel like that one's a lot darker than some of the others, uh, and there's some that are very light, but they all seem to have um, some commonalities in their patterning. And then these seem to be more, mostly uh, white or close to white, but they do have uh, darker eyes. And these are again uh, something that shows up commonly in a uh, Porcelio Levis California mix. And these, many of these seem to have uh, some other markings, but they're much paler than the others. And the overall effect is that they look white or off white. Before I go any further, I just want to give a shout out to my patrons for being amazing, for helping me do what I do on this channel. Couldn't do it without you. I really appreciate all of your help. And if you would like to become a patron, you can check out the link that I'll put at the end of this video or in the description. And now let's take a look at the other two. All right, this deli cup here appears to contain what remain of the milkbacks. These all have the very milkback phenotype, and from what we understand now, this is a completely separate species from Porcelia levis, even though it looks very, very similar in many ways. Uh, Nathan Jones, otherwise known as American Isopodologist on Instagram, did some close anatomical studies uh, with these and determined that the, uh, the genitalia of the male are quite distinct in uh, Levis, as opposed to whatever species these are. 
So these are now known as Porcelio X Levis or Porcelio AFF for uh, demonstrating an affinity with uh, Levis. They can be referred to that way until they are um, fully described. But one thing that I thought was really interesting is that there are only five of them left. There might be a few more in the bin, but not very many. They're the least common possibly because they've been outcompeted by the true Levis in the bin. It's uh, very common for isopods to outcompete other species, and even though these are very similar, and they seem to coexist fairly well for almost three years, we can see that they're being slowly outnumbered. And then the final specimen in the bin is one I couldn't really place. This has some very interesting uh, piebald sort of characteristics to it. It didn't really fit in any of the other bins in terms of uh, what it looked like. I'm confident that it is uh, a California mix of some type, uh, but I'm not sure how to categorize it. It's just kind of out there on its own. It's an oddball, which is interesting. So I wonder if any more like this will be produced. And though this is not by any means a scientific study, it's merely some observations that I wanted to share with you, I think it was interesting and I hope you found it interesting as well. Thank you for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.